Okay, so uh, I always like to use a dark chocolate bar here in Finland and uh, the first thing that I do is chop it up into some chunky bits in order to simulate or imitate the chocolate chips from home. I have noticed that here in Finland they do sell uh, some chocolate chips and they are miniature. They are too little and they come in such a small quantity, quantity that it's not not worth the cost to pay 3 euros per you know, 150 grams and so I, I just buy a 200 gram bar uh, which is usually less than 2 euros um, and try to find something of good quality. You, if you read the ingredients you can tend to notice that here in Finland they'll add in some vehnajo or some flour, uh, some wheat flour to the chocolate I guess to give it a dried out. So uh, the 44% usually isn't so good as say the 70, 70%. Um, brands to choose from are, I tend to choose the Fatsa brand. Uh, if you look at Rainbow, they always have the wheat flour, the Yorka has the wheat flour, um, and if you're making anything for anybody that is uh, gluten-free, it's going to be super important to check those ingredients. And even when you think, oh, it's not going to be in chocolate, it will be. Another issue with uh, some dark chocolates here in Finland is that they have uh, uh, milk products. They'll have full-fat milk, full-fat milk uh, powder. Um, they'll use milk proteins, things like that. So if you have a vegan friend or vegan family member, they are not going to want to eat your cookie either. Um, and then, of course, for our lactositon friends, uh, it's not so good to have <laughs> that kind of chocolate. So mind your mind your options when you're shopping. Thank you. Okay. So 